All right, boys, on the menu today, we have primary weapons, but not just any primary weapons. Oh, no, no, no. Today, I'm going to be going over the top five primary weapons and their god rolls that you need to get before season 13 launches in just over a week. And my God, that feels so good to say. But before we get started, I have a PS5 to give away. As you all might remember, last week, Plink and I teamed up to give away a PlayStation 5 to one of my subscribers over on Plink. Plink is a LFG slash matchmaking app for gamers that analyzes all your in-game stats and behavior. It will then match you with gamers who have similar KDs, playtimes, age groups, games, etc. It's seriously so good for Destiny 2, especially if you're a solo player. So now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the brand new PlayStation 5 is... Cheeseburger1237. Congratulations! Please shoot me a DM over on Plink to grab your PS5. So as a prerequisite, this list is in order from least to best, and this list will not contain exotics. I recently made a video on the top five must have exotics to get before season 13, so if that sounds interesting to you, then I'll have it linked right below the like button. So coming in at number five, we have Trusty. Trusty is a 260 RPM solar scout rifle that is acquired via the Deepstone Crypt raid. Getting into the god roll for column one, well, it doesn't really matter too much. As long as the perks in your other three columns are good, then this column really doesn't matter, but that can be said for just about any weapon. So for all of you that wanna just be told what to look for, I'd say small bore for an increase to range and stability is gonna be your best option. Now for column two, where you're gonna want a perk that increases your mag size because it will directly tie into and benefit your column three perk, which I'll talk about in just a second. Back to column two, the column two perks you should look for is either a pin and mag for a hefty increase to mag size with no drawbacks or tactical mag for a slight increase to mag size while also improving your stability and reload speed. Now for column three, where hands down, you should go with reconstruction. Reconstruction is literally the baby of overflow and autoloading holster. Remember how I just said that your magazine perk from column two would tie into your column three perk? Well, that's because if you have a mag perk that increases your base mag size, then reconstruction will push that mag size to an even higher number compared to if you didn't have a mag perk in column two, then it would push it to a lesser, you know what I'm trying to say. If you have a bigger base mag size, then reconstruction is gonna push it even further. And finally, for column four, where you have a few different options depending on your play style. The perks I would recommend is high impact reserves for extra damage when your mag gets low, redirection for a damage boost to powerful enemies after damaging low tier enemies, and finally wellspring, which is going to regenerate ability energy when getting kills with this weapon. Now, if you do decide to go with wellspring, then I recommend getting surplus in column three instead of reconstruction. This is because surplus is going to synergize extremely well with wellspring. Surplus is going to increase your handling, reload speed, and stability for each fully charged ability. And wellspring is of course, like I just said, going to generate ability energy after each kill. Trusty right now is the most popular scout rifle in the game and for a good reason. It has great overall stats, amazing perk pool. It's a rapid fire frame, which is one of the most popular archetypes because you just hold down the trigger and it keeps firing. This is definitely a must have weapon. Making its way into number four, we have High Albedo. High Albedo is a 491 RPM kinetic sidearm that is acquired via Varix on Europa, I believe. Now for the god roll. Column one, you're gonna want range and stability. So perks like corkscrew rifling and small bores should be your go-tos. Then column two, where my top pick is going to be accurized rounds for that flat increase to range. You can also go with a magazine perk like tactical mag or a pendant mag, but with this weapon already having a decent mag size, it's not essential. Now for column three, where you have a pretty wide selection of perks. In my opinion, there is no best perk for this column. It all depends on you and your play style. If you're looking for that traditional reload perk, then go with Threat Detector. If you want a perk that is going to improve this weapon's stats, then go with Surplus. It all depends on you. Now, with that being said, I am going to suggest some column three and four perk combinations that I would consider god rolls. This is going to tie into column four. For column four, there's three perks I'd recommend. Wellspring, Demolitionist, and High Impact Reserves. Now, let's discuss those combos that I just mentioned. The first is going to be your traditional fast reload and increased damage roll. This is going to consist of threat detector in column three and high impact reserves in column four. The second is going to be your increased stats roll. This is going to consist of surplus in column three and wellspring in column four. And the final one is going to be your demo roll, which is just demolitionist in column four and whatever you want in column three. Demo, 
deserves its own role. All in all, Hyalbido is going to replace a lot of people's last hope, which will be expiring at the end of this season, season 12. Sadly, it's not going to match Last Hope in terms of raw damage output, but it'll be a nice stepping stone while we wait for Bungie to add more sidearms in the future or just reissue Last Hope, which knowing them, they probably will. Making its way in at number three, we have Posterity. I've already talked about how good this weapon is twice on the channel, so I'm gonna make this extremely short. Posterity is a 180 RPM Arcane Cannon that is acquired via the Deep Stone Crypt Raid getting into the god roll for column one full bore if you're on mouse and keyboard and small bore if you're on controller column two accurized rounds column three rapid hit or reconstruction and finally column four one for all i have an entire video dedicated to this weapon so if you want more info on why it's a must-have then you can go check out that video spoiler alert it's the best hand cannon in the game for pve coming in hot at number two we have the seventh seraph carbine the 7th Seraph Carbine is a 450 RPM kinetic auto rifle that is acquired via random oil drops. Let's get right into the god roll. Column 1, you're going to want range and stability, so extended barrel or small bore should be your go-tos. Column 2, either ricochet rounds for a bump to range and stability, or high caliber rounds for a flat increase to range while also adding knockback. For Column 3, you have 6 perks to choose from, but in my opinion, only 3 of them are worth chasing after. Those 3 being Threat Detector for increased reload speeds when surrounded by multiple enemies, Auto Loading Holster for the ability to stow the weapon and have it fully reload a few seconds later in your back pocket, or 4 times the charm to have the gun auto throw a few rounds back into the mag after after landing four precision shots, which with an auto rifle like this, that isn't too hard to do. Then finally, column four, where we have six perks. Now of those six perks, you should only be looking at three of them. Those three being Rampage for increased damage after each kill stacking up to times three, Swashbuckler for increased damage after each kill stacking up to times five, or just getting one melee and automatically getting times five. And finally, Vorpal Weapon for increased damage to yellow health bar enemies and some other things that you probably don't care about. In my opinion, the God Roll is four times the charm and Rampage just for the ultimate ad clearing potential. Speaking of ad clearing, did I mention that because this weapon is a 7th Seraph weapon, that means it can generate Warmind Cells. Now, for any of you that are new to the game or you've just been living under a rock, if a weapon can produce Warmind Cells, that automatically makes it a good weapon. Warmind Cells are busted when it comes to ad clear, and when a weapon that is meant for clearing ads can also produce Warmind Cells, well, I think you get the point. This weapon by itself with its perk pool is all right at its main role of clearing ads, but because it can also generate Warmind Cells, that makes it a very, very good weapon. Now coming in at the number one spot for best primary weapon in the game, surprise, surprise, the Aikilos SMG. The Aikilos SMG is a 750 RPM arc submachine gun that is acquired via random world drops. Time for the god roll. In column one, you're gonna want stability with some range, so small bore is gonna be your go-to. But just in case you find even then that the recoil is still a little too much for you to handle, then something like polygonal rifling should help you out because of its massive increase to stability. Now for column two, where there is only one right answer, Seraph rounds. You all know how much I love Seraph rounds, and it's for a good reason. It's pretty much a combo of ricochet, armor piercing, and high caliber rounds all in one. Now for column three, where you have two different options. The first is Threat Detector for fast reloads when you're near multiple enemies, and the second is Grave Robber for the ability to punch an enemy and have the weapon auto-load itself. And finally, Column 4, where just like Column 3, we have two different options you can choose from. First is Surrounded for a damage increase when near multiple enemies, and the second is Demolitionist for grenade energy recharge on kills with this weapon, and the ability to throw a grenade and have the weapon auto-load itself. So there's actually two god rolls. The first is Grave Robber with demo for just unlimited auto loading and grenades. The second and my personal pick is Threat Detector and Surrounded because both activate when you're diving head first into a group of bats. Like one reloads your gun faster when you're around enemies and one makes you deal more damage when you're around enemies. The perfect synergy. The Aikilos SMG is a fast firing, well, SMG, which alone makes it amazing at ad clearing, which because it's a primary weapon should be its main job. But where this weapon really gets good is when you find out it can produce Warmind Cells. Remember everything I just said about Warmind Cells when I was talking about the number two weapon on this list, the 7th Seraph Carbine? Yeah, all that applies here, but it's just better because SMGs are just better for ad clear. I have been preaching about how good this weapon is since Season of Arrivals. Now, back when this weapon was first introduced, or technically reintroduced because it was a year one weapon that was reissued, you could get two column four perks to swap between, but now, sadly, you can't. So you're going to have to choose 
one of the above column four perks I just mentioned because you can no longer get both. I don't see anything dethroning the Aikilos SMG until it eventually gets sunset at the end of season 13. So I would be on the lookout for a God roll if you don't yet have one before that time comes. And there are your top five must have primary weapons for season 13. But how did I do? Is there a weapon that you think should have made the list? Let me know in the comments section as sometimes you all recommend some baller weapons and their God rolls that I would have just never thought of. With all that being said, if you enjoy my videos or have ever found them helpful, then feel free to subscribe. The big 100K is right around the corner and I can smell it. Also, I do live stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday over on twitch.tv slash myfi with an underscore at the end. So if you want a place to hang out or ask some questions, then come on by. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, then feel free to drop a like and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.